We're moving across to Edo State to look at the politics there. Um, the, you know, the contest for, you know, the candidates uh, is over. Uh, and our guest this morning is an APC chieftain, Comrade Bello Osaretin. And um, he's chairman of Edo Voters Movement and also chairperson of the Edo Political Round Table. Uh, good morning to you, Comrade. Good, good morning, Uncle Folari. Oh, you're very kind, sir. Yori, uh, thank you very much. Now, we are in the political season. I think the last time we, was, we, we, we were speaking on this program and on this subject matter, there was still the outstanding matter of um, a running mate. Work was in progress at the time. Now, how closer are we to finding a running mate for the uh, winner of the primaries to represent APC in the elections? Uh, good morning, Uncle Yori Folari. Uh, Thank you very it is not. It is not how. As I speak to you today, there is already there is already a running mate to the oh, candidate of APC. Yeah, so they are not in the search. It has been achieved. The Dennis Idahosa has been nominated as the running mate to Senator Mondi Okpewolu. That is, that is the breaking news. However, some of us were taken by surprise by that development. Uh, so. trying, to look at the, trying to look at the processes that led to the nomination of Honorable Dennis Idaosa. Though one was probably to party supremacy. But however... In a process of that nature, in a, in a conference of that nature, we expect a former governor of a do state, His Excellency uh, John Odige Oyegu, to be in such meeting. And of course, people like uh, uh, Ize Iyamu to be in that meeting. And Honorable E.J. Agmonayima to also be in that meeting. So it was surprised to us that this high profile Poliko Mercuria that has domain were not invited in that meeting. And of to, to some extent, Francis Inegbineki was not in that meeting, a vice chairman of the party in the state. Uh, Patrick Iharale, a honorable member, was not in that meeting. Honorable Iguma was not in that meeting. Uh, Mr. Ernest Afolabi was not in that meeting. So one would wonder, how do we arrive at the consensus that led to the nomination of Honorable Dennis Idaosa? Though I'm not here to question that, one was ascribe me to Party, party supremacy. Yes. So, so if you're not here to your question point. that, what then is the issue that you want to air? Because I, I describe you as an APC chieftain. Uh, are you not happy with it when your party unveiled last night that uh, it was uh, Honorable uh, Dennis Idahosa that was going to be the running mate? Uh, Yori, in a town where there are elders, it will be very difficult for the ego, for the vulture to land. A, a couple of weeks ago, I was here. You personally observed that there is need to create an enabling platform for all to be on the table so that the party can work as one. Were you not surprised that I mentioned that His Excellency John Odige Oyegu, a former super secretary, a former chairman of a national chairman of APC, a former governor of Edo State, and of course, an Edda State man, a member, in, a, a, indefatigable member of APC, is not in that meeting. 
that led to the nomination of, of uh, Honorable Dennis Idaosa from Edo South. So one would wonder, but I'm not trying to question. It's an observation, a personal observation. That is my observation, uh, my brother. It's an observation, but um, you don't... I, I wanted to be sure. Do you have an issue with Honorable Idahosa as the running mate uh, on a, on, uh, from a point of view of the quality of it? He's from your party. He's clearly you know, uh, qualified. Um, your party, no less. Uh, you talked about party supremacy, has decided on him. Uh, so your, 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 your point seems to be that, well, there were some people that should have been at the meeting that were not there, and you don't think, um, you, you, you just think that your party could have done better in that regard. Uh, I've already congratulated the uh, Honorable Desi Idaosa. Idaosa. Yeah. I, no, don't I, have anything, I don't have anything against. I don't have anything against him. I'm only expressing certain concerns in certain quarter. Mark, you introduced me as as chairman at the political roundtable, so it yes. is good to put all the the don't and do's, the do's and don'ts on the table, so that we oh. can move forward perfectly. Indeed, mm. so that we can move, move forward and um, everybody in Edo State that is of the uh, APC family, uh, the APC Democratic family, uh, should, as it were, you know, line up behind uh, the pair of uh, Monday of Pueblo and uh, Dennis Idahosa. That is the ultimate. It's only if there was any danger that there might be some untoward uh, happenings, uh, then I would, thought, I would have thought that. But surely you yourself don't see that. But you have made the observation that why were certain elders, very, very important people, not part of that? I, I don't know unless you want to prefer a reason. Because the quality, nobody's complaining no. about the quality. Or is it about, the, is it about the, the, the region that he comes from? That is why, you know, uh, I was surprised that we've concluded and when the news broke out, so some of us went to town and there were some observations here and there. So that is the observation I'm trying to make. I'm All not right. averse to the emergence of uh, Honorable Dennis Idaosa as uh, uh, the running mate to Senator Mode Opuebolo. So okay. we have gone beyond that stage now, is to look at the bigger picture. Interparty matter is done, is, uh, is uh, 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 it's uh, concluded. Now we are now looking at inter-party affairs. Okay. Inter-party inter affairs. That's what we should... I mean, yeah. as you said, we now need to look forward. And uh, surely... Definitely. That's going, to be, that's going to be about planning and strategizing uh, to win the election uh, for APC. Just as other parties are going to be doing exactly the same thing, they're going to be planning and striving uh, to snatch it from uh, the APC. You, you are correct. You know that uh, so you don't... the PDP, the, the PDP have also had their own uh, running mate, a person of uh, uh, OG, the SSG to the state government, as a running mate to Aswe Udaro. From Ikpopaka, it got constituency. One of the biggest and largest uh, constituency when you talk of uh, voters' demography. That was what some of the concerns some of us were expressing. That maybe the leadership of the party in APC would have looked at that di di dimension. So however, okay. now that they are taking their decision, so we have PDP to contend with vis-a-vis -vis the Labour Party. And uh, there are other uh, parties that are also having... They are candidates and running mate like the ADC that has uh, one Paul uh, Obazele, uh, and of course the Accord Party, Iyere. The National Rescue Movement is also there with uh, Dr. Denise Osahon. We are good to yeah. go. The course is clear. Okay, the course is clear because something you said, you said that now that the APC, we're referring to your party, now that the APC, uh, now that they. They have taken their decision. And those were your words. You didn't say now that we've taken our decision. 
He said, now that they've taken their decision, well, there are these other issues. So when you look at it from that point of view, that's why I'm, I'm saying that is there a niggling doubt somewhere? You, 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 you used advisedly the words, now that they've taken their decision, referring to your own party. Uh, you are trying to be political with your question. However, I was not in that meeting. <laughs> and many people that are supposed to be in that meeting were not, not in that meeting. Okay. Uh, as a lawyer party and committed party supremo, I have no alternative. Uh, because I don't want to discuss on the gabadoism or the paracol that led to that. But <laughs> party supremacy, they are taking decisions. I have to abide. Because I don't want you to put me in the, in the ATR box the way you did the other day. So I'm very, very <laughs> circumspect with uh, the way I, I respond sorry, to no, your no question. I just noted because you are an experienced politician yourself, and um, so I just it, it just jumped out at me, and perhaps to a lot of uh, perhaps to a number of our viewers as well. But now let, let uh, jokes apart. <clears throat> Look, we now have for the APC Dennis. I mean, uh, uh, Monday of Pobolo, Senator Monday of Pobolo, and Dennis uh, Representative Dennis uh, Idaosa. That brings together which which what strengths does that bring together? Never mind whatever you might have preferred. As a party man, party supremacy, we're looking forward now. What are the strengths that this team uh, does bring on board that might have led the party elders, or whoever they were, in you know, going with Dennis uh, Idahosa to, to, uh, to run with Monday of Webolo? What are the strengths? Uh, it's, of, it's often said in a local parlance that what the elders will see while seated the young uh, brat will climb uh, a little country and it will be difficult for, for him to cite what the elders are extreme while seated Sitting down. in their comfort. Yes. Um, I think uh, uh, Modo Pueblo and uh, Dennis Idaosa coming together, I think it's a, it's a good pairing. Because one, mark you, they are they are both are sitting honorable members. That's right. They are they have tested they have tested the political terrain. They understand the game. They are exposed. They are highly experienced. So these two political juggernaut coming together, I think <laughs> they are going to give a good fight, and they give PDP a good run for their money. What, what are the areas of representation? I think uh, Edo, uh, Edo Central, uh, uh, when it comes to that, where, where do they represent? Where were they chosen from? Uh, Modo Paolo was chosen from Edo Central, a serving senator. And of course, Honorable Dennis Idaosa was picked from a, uh, of via, of via federal constituency from Edo South. You can see that the pairing is, uh, is, is watertight like Olumu Rock. <laughs> the Olumu Rock is in my town. So, <laughs> but I'm happy that okay. you used my okay. it was it was, it, was del it was deliberately used because I know you are from there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just wanted to thank you, Comrade Bello or Saratin. I, when, I, when I was told that um, I'll be on air with you, I was delighted about the fact, okay, let me see what uh, the comrade is going to have to say this time. <laughs> and, uh, but you have said it. Yeah. That look, where, whereas you, you know, you, uh, you know, you, you, you go along with it uh, because you, you always hamper on democracy. Um, there are some things that next time around you would hope that your party might take into consideration, and you've mentioned those things. But at the same time, you say that between the central and I think it is the south, you've got it pretty much sewn up. A lot more work now has to be done, and uh, I'm sure you're going to be getting your shoulder to the wheel yourself, along with other uh, patrons within your party, to make sure that this is the winning team. Surely you're going to give it your I, all. I have, I, I have no option. I have no option. I am a, I'm a pure APC chieftain. It is the responsibility of people like us 
that believes in a party under the leadership of our dear president, uh, Senator uh, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, who is a father, uh, a pata familiar Omiya, who is carrying everybody along. So people like us must follow the direction of the party to ensure that we deliver APC come September 21st, 2024. I guarantee you that because we have a good product to take to the market space. Mm. And of course, you know that the PDP is going to want to remain in power. It, is, it goes without saying. And that's the, well, that, that will be what they are working on around the clock. I just thought I'd say that. But it's, that it's not as if... Uh, I'm sure you're not considering it a walkover. Uh, that, 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 definitely. I told you that Senator Modo Pevolo has been tried, tested, and, trust, and, uh, uh, and trusted. He's exposed to the political dynamics. He's experienced in the game. He has, he has, he has, he has uh, conformed himself to the political dynamics of Edo State. The, uh, the, his counterpart has not been tested. It's a political rookie and a political neophyte in the game. But Modo Pavolo, a, a with his tag team, uh, Honorable Dennis uh, Idaosa, my brother, the defense is going to be as solid as that of uh, Imale Kunde of Cameroon. I guarantee you. Though I, will not, I don't want to make the, 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 the process to look very uh, cheap because we are not underestimating any contender that is going to confront us in the game. According to oh. Aristotle, uh, uh, that politics is a war without bloodshed. Indeed. But war is politics with bloodshed. We're going to have to leave it there, Comrade uh, Bello Osarechi. Uh, the breaking news, as you said, uh, you know, last night it was uh, announced that um, APC had decided on Daniel Idahosa uh, of the House of Representatives to pair with uh, Monday Okpobolo uh, when it comes to the governorship election in Edo State uh, at the polls. So thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Comrade uh, Belo Osaratin. We're going to have to leave it there. Do join thank us tomorrow, know. please, for a fresh edition. I am Yori Folari. Bye-bye for now. <laughs>